Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to talk about uh, the SCP Wiki's news. There are a few things that have happened in recent years, or not years, recent years. There's a few things that have happened in recent years. There is a few things that have happened uh, in the recent month or two, and I feel like um, even though there's not a lot of discussion that can be done about them, they still are useful pieces of information that can be communicated to an audience, especially since my audience is uh, made up of a lot of people who might be using the wiki. <clears throat> I think the most important thing, and we're going to go to the main page right now just so that I can look at this, if I can get it to load, it has loaded. They have changed site navigation considerably, so it is significantly simplified. Um, the uh, Tales by SCP series thing is gone, so I assume they're probably uh, no longer trying to focus people in on reading Tales. Um, for a little while there, they had gotten rid of um, the shortest and top rated buttons, uh, but now they're uh, back, so that's nice. Um, for a little while there, they actually had accidentally or deliberately, not really sure, taken out the contribute button, which I thought was funny because there were a lot of people in the SCP wiki, even established authors, um, who had always used the contribute button, which takes you to a blank page and gives you guides and, and also gives you a little box where you can create a new page. Um, without the contribute button and without having that bookmark, the only way you could create a new page is to go up and put the link you want to use in manually, and then it would take you to the blank page, and then you could edit it. Um, they did put it back. It's in the resources section, which makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, just important to know that everything is, most of the important stuff is still here, uh, but they have simplified it and removed quite a lot of things. There's also a new four users collapsible at the top. So if you're not particularly familiar with the SCP wiki, now you can be. Um, outside of that, there have been a couple of major developments elsewise, and I'm going to scroll a little bit through the O5 uh, forum just to look for them. Yeah, so this happened almost a year ago, this mistake and or... Um, Hmm. Misconduct by staff happened about a year ago. What happened was Serastes had put out an 001 based on a particular topic. The, the, the finer details are not as important as how the, uh, the, the importance of how it was approached. Uh, Serastes was accused of plagiarism incorrectly uh, for using an idea that somebody else had wanted to do. Um... Not the content of the work, not any of that sort of stuff. It was just that. What had happened was is that um, Dr. Magnus had been creating a alchemy department canon. And we're not going to get into too, too far into the weeds on this. But the important part uh, is that uh, Dr. Magnus had been working on uh, either an 001 or an 001-like uh, thing. And uh, what's the best way to put this? Serastes created something that was very similar independently. And when people told them that, uh, told Serastes that this was possibly, you know, uh, too similar to something somebody else was already working on, uh, Serastes just went ahead and posted it anyway, because of course you would. And instead of treating that as though, well, that was slightly impolite, but it's the name of the game, that's how it works. Um, Dr. Magnus uh, treated it as though it was plagiarism, even though it isn't at all, not even close. And this is the problem. Maybe Serastes has read the alchemy department canon, but that doesn't mean that they're not allowed to write stuff surrounding it. <laughs> this is a Creative Commons website. That's the whole point of the website. Anyway, uh, after a long period of time, I, I don't even know if I would call it a long period of time. Actually, yeah, because this happened a year ago and it's only really being cleaned up fully now. Um, what ended up happening was, uh, eventually, and I say, eventually, Serastes was cleared of all wrongdoing, as they should have been, and the people who initiated it were reasonably questioned about their role in being, I don't know what, I don't know what the best way to explain this is, um, overzealous in the 
using their own positions in a way that uh, protects them far more than it would protect a regular user. Let's put it that way, I guess. Um, and, and this isn't to say that the people, the administrator, I have to I have to make this distinction. The administrators who were involved in this and, and the staff that were involved in this uh, wrongdoing are um, they're great people, generally. They do amazing work for the SCP Wiki, and they do it for free. However, the SCP Wiki staff have a long, long history of being unable to separate their prof what is essentially a professional uh, job. Even if you don't get paid for it, you should still treat it that way um, from their own personal feelings. And that's what happened here. Now, recently, the solution has been that, I don't know what the best way to put this, um, Dexanote was the person who led the charge for uh, Magnus, and uh, I believe Dr. Mann was also pretty strongly uh, in favor of this. Um, Magnus has since, I believe, resigned, uh, but Dexanote and Mann are still around, and... They have decided to censor themselves. Now, I will say this. There is, it's not valueless to censure yourself. This is like when a corporate uh, CEO, you know, says, oh, I'm putting myself on official leave. If you do it to yourself without any oversight from anybody else, it really doesn't mean anything at all. Who? There's no actual consequence there you're just saying words <laughs> because a censure is supposed to be like an official disapproving of a thing right so all you're doing is saying i disapprove of this thing i did i know it seems silly and um what's the word N unnecessary to do so and maybe a little bit um a bu like bureaucratic nonsense but if you're at the top and you don't allow other people to censor you, you have done nothing. You have accepted no real response, or not necessarily responsibility. It is accepting responsibility, but it's not accepting actual consequences. Consequence would be if everyone else was like, yes, you deserve to be censured. That says something. But if you say, I'm going to censure myself, that means nothing at all. Anyway, uh, but they've decided to censure themselves, uh, which it, it feels like nothing uh, ironically feels more like theater than if the entire wiki or the entire wiki staff had voted to do it. It's just theater. That's all it is. It's just, hey, look at us. We're we're showing that we're responsible uh, and accountable, but it's not really accountability. Like if they get 20, if they censure themselves 20 times, what's going to happen? Nothing. But if the whole of staff censures them 20 times, maybe the vote of no confidence comes around. Anyway, I thought this was an interesting development on the uh, on the wiki. Uh, and if this sort of thing comes on, I love that they're accepting personal responsibility, by the way. I should be perfectly clear about that. I think that's reasonable. I think it's uh, an adult thing to do. But the whole self-censure thing is it's silly. It's just silly. You win. When you will uh, call it a willful censure, like that's that's ridiculous. That means nothing. And in fact, it makes the other stuff. Uh, it makes the first thing of accepting responsibility feel lessened when you do that. You're like, I, I accept that I did something wrong. I'm blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to punish myself for it. Just just doesn't hit right. Uh, those are the t actually I was I was thinking about a couple other things that happened, but they're a lot more minor. Oh, wait, no, meta, the other thing, metaphysician has been unbanned from the SCP wiki for the people who are uh, interested in that sort of thing. I don't know that I necessarily agree with it, because I've always found that if somebody says they're inspired by a thing and then directly lift from the thing that they were inspired by, that's just theft. Um, but I can accept the idea that this person has had personal growth and knows not to do that kind of thing in the future. So 
uh, if 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 it's helpful to you to know that a lot of people might may or may not metaphysician has officially been unbanned for their plagiarism as well i feel like it may have kind of come from discussions around the sarastas thing being mishandled and being labeled as a plagiarism issue when it really wasn't uh, i think those probably behind the scenes have some relation to each other i don't know that i necessarily agree with the second one but it is what it is and i'm not i don't feel that strongly about it i used to feel more strongly about it but it's been a while anyway that's it uh thank you very much for watching if you're wondering why i don't have a beard today i did it as part of a joke uh that was really only funny to me but i laughed a lot or not internally really uh but i thought it was really funny uh I, I was doing a live stream yesterday with somebody who made a whole made a video and one of the uh sections of their video was talking about my beard and uh making jokes about my beard uh and it just so happened at that time that i had shaved my beard before their video came out uh, <laughs> so i thought i'm gonna live stream with this person and i need to shave my beard anyway this will be funny i thought it was funny uh, I'm, I'm going to, I say this every single time. I'm going to try to keep it, uh, at, at, at least a short length and not be all, you know, I look a lot younger, I think like this, like almost 20 years younger. <laughs> so that's, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, that's why that happened. Also, if you want to go and check out that, um, let me just grab this real quick. I did a lot. I helped with a live stream. I participated in a live stream yesterday for the San Francisco LGBT Center um, on Site 42 SCP Foundation Fanworks channel. I would uh, highly suggest you go over there and check it out. It is a uh, I had a fun. I had fun. I think I'm in there for at least six to eight hours of the stream. I could be wrong on the numbers, but I think that's close somewhere between six and eight hours um, out of twelve. So I'm in there for a lot of it. And uh, if you really do uh, want to support that charity, you can go over and donate. Uh, there'll be a link in there'll be a link to the video. And that video has all of the links you're going to need. Um, so, yeah. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to that. So you're notified when I upload new videos and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Cashmill who has pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Tuesday.